Welcome back, Danger Cats. Today we're going to teach you about the unwritten rules of the patch. Like always, you always are hungry when you're working hard out here. So you need a little snack. Get some dinner in you. Now that you got that in your face, first thing you should know when you're first coming into the oil patch, there's three things that we all fucking hate out here on site. Environmentalists, engineers, and fucking safety officers. So if you want to make a friend out here quick, bitch about one of those people out here on site. You don't really got to know fuck all about them. Just drop a quick, fuck do I hate that fucking environmentalist always shutting us the fuck down, man. Or you could also, fuck man, that safety officer's just being a cunt today, man. Yeah, I get it, my safety glasses aren't on, but like, fuck man, it's, the sun's blaring in my eyes, I can't see fuck all. Something like that is guaranteed to make you a buddy on site right away. Unwritten rule number two, there is no political correctness out here. So if you're a butthurt hippie that gets fucking his feelings hurt by words, you're not gonna enjoy your time out here. Usually the first name you're gonna be called is a cunt or a cocksucker, so get used to that right away. Your boss is always gonna be an asshole no matter what. He could be the nicest guy in the world, but he's still a fucking asshole. And if you really want to make matters worse, run to the HR department and file a complaint on one of the boys out there. That'll be sure to make your life a lot easier out here. <laughs> if you go to the HR department, not only will you be labeled a pussy your whole time out here, but you are going to get harassed until you fucking quit. Just the way she goes out here. So don't be a pussy and decide that, hey, I'm going to go work in the oil patch. It's going to be the worst decision of your fucking life. Unwritten rule number three, everybody's a fucking idiot, including yourself. At some point in time, you're going to be walking around sight and someone's going to point and look at you and say, fuck, is that guy an idiot? I've done it. I've been called an idiot and I'm going to continue being called an idiot and calling other people idiots. It's just the way we do things out here. Another thing you'll just have to get used to, that you're a fucking moron. Unwritten rule number four, you're gonna wanna update the data package on your cell phone because when those slow days come around and you need something to fucking do, that's your lifesaver right there. Oh, and don't worry, your boss is gonna be on on it too. He wants to see some funny shit, tits, ass, it don't matter. He's gonna wanna see it, especially if it's fucking anything to do with female nudity or some kind of sick humor. Also, you're gonna need that extra data so that way you can take selfies with the boys in the work truck, post it online, and let everybody know that you're making fat stacks sitting on your fucking ass today. And watch everybody get jealous that you're making fat stacks to sit on your ass today. Unwritten rule number five. Just cause you passed the piss test doesn't mean you passed all the tests out here. You are gonna be constantly tested to see if you can hang with the fucking crew out here. They're gonna push your buttons and chirp the fuck out of you, so be prepared. It's time to grow some thick skin, princess. Unwritten rule number six. We have an ungodly sense of humor out here that involves a lot of dick jokes, fuck stories, and all sorts of other fucked up shit that we've done. So be prepared to hear some of the most fucked up things you've ever heard in your life. But don't let it phase you. The moment they find your weakness, we will pounce on your ass. Literally. I don't think you know what it's like to spend days upon days away from home and not get a piece of ass. And especially if you're going to be a pussy and look like a pussy, you might just get fucked. <laughs> Unwritten rule number seven. Regardless if you have political knowledge or not, we fucking hate Justin Trudeau out here with a passion. So having a sticker on your hard hat that says fuck Trudeau is a sure shot way to make a friend on site. Also another way of making some friends on site, especially if you're working in Alberta, saying something along the lines of Rachel Notley's a twat, that is a highway ticket to making a best buddy on site. But just be prepared because there's going to be some old boys out there that are going to fill your ears full of their political rants. And the best thing to do in that situation, smile, nod, and throw the odd fuck yeah in there every now and then. Guaranteed you'll win their respect that way. 
And here's the last unwritten rule. This is the only industry where it is acceptable to be late if you were getting laid. But don't take advantage of this. It's only acceptable a few times a month, maybe every couple months. And if you ruin it for everybody else on site, oh, buddy, you're in for a fucking long haul. I'll tell you that for free. But with this rule being said, you got to somehow prove it. Because if you just walk in late all the time, say you're getting laid all the time, nobody's going to fucking believe you because you're a loser in the patch like the rest of us. So have just a tiny ounce of fucking proof. You're golden for showing up late. So there you have it, Danger Cats. A couple unwritten rules of the patch from Uncle Hack. We're going to continue pounding Mother Earth with pipelines and drilling rigs. So keep on keeping on. And keep fucking with the Danger Cats, motherfuckers.